glad to see on board of our helicopter. As a qualified geologist, Perez could be pulling in a six-figure salary anywhere in the world. Instead, he's returned home, one of the new breed of highly educated Timorese determined to rebuild their country. I think having grown up in Australia under the culture of a fair go and a fair crack of the whip, uh, I think that uh, also helped a lot to, uh, to, to make their decisions and to, to give what we can uh, to, uh, to others. Down on the beach, Minister Perez details his grand plans for the south coast. That will close all that up. Including a deep water port here near Swai. With a draft of 20 metres. When the supply base is ready, the goods and services will have to come out from there. We have a world standard facility there. I'm sure we are able to attract other people to come and use those services. So uh, the initial uh, impact, especially if there's a supply base related to an industrial state, uh, then we could, talk in, uh, we could talk about quite a few jobs. There are plans too for a four-lane highway connecting the port to an oil refinery. And further up the coast, if the government wins a standoff with Australia's Woodside Petroleum, a gas processing plant fed by a pipeline from the development of the Greater Sunrise Field in the Timor Sea. There's a few sacred sites here. We're going to have to design it to respect that. For the local people, uh, it's a actually, welcome opportunity to get paid work. It's not as though the South Coast hasn't had the whiff of development before. This old oil wellhead, long abandoned, can still put on a show. Right here, the oil is bubbling to the surface. It's rich and sticky and has a very distinctive smell the smell of money. Available now on Video On Demand.